Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries. The first mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, sins, save, save us, us from, from the fires of hell, hell and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staffs, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. 
we offer this ministry for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of, of your mercy. mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you, to you do we cry, the poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, the most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after these our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, o God whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. The Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life. Immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, 
which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, 
I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Please guide me towards the light and goodness of your great mercy and forgive me for my sins. Amen. Eternal God, in whom God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. A prayer for divine mercy. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayers of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, Anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart as through an open gate we pass through to heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. For those who are sick, especially with COVID-19. For all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staffs, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, the Divine Mercy Sunday. Our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion, together with Father Ted Toralba. <laughs> celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In a special way, we pray for all those who are sick, not only of COVID. We pray also for all our doctors, our hospital chaplain, a doctor said, Wala na akong lakas, Father. Puso na lang ang meron ako ngayon. We pray for Father J.M., the chaplain of Manila Doctors. I was told he is now infected of COVID. We pray for the safety of everyone. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy.
God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first community of believers, though poor, is noted for its attitude of sharing. By the power of Jesus' res resurrection, the followers of Christ are now of one heart and mind, sensitive to those in need. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property of, or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to it according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in the hours. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. A believer who holds that he or she is loved by God is inspired to love God in return. To keep God's commandments is a joy and not a burden. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. 
In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome, and whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world, and the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his sight. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one among us today have seen Jesus. No one among us today have heard Jesus personally speaking to you. And no one among us today saw Jesus rising from the dead. What we have is faith. Faith that was given to us in the church by the church. And many times I have said this, that this faith is not just an ascent of the mind. It must be a way of life. The second reading reminds us that this faith is to be practiced in love. To be practiced in love. You cannot say you have faith in the numbers of Bible passages and quotations you have posted in Facebook. The number of messages, prayers you forwarded in Facebook. Your faith must be manifested in the way you live your life. And what kind of life? Life ruled by love. The first reading reminds us again that this love is to put order in our lives. To order our lives for the good of the others. As many times I have said this, we are to have a personal relationship with Jesus, but it should never be private. This relationship must always have this communal thought. Thinking not only for your own good, but for the good of the others. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, perhaps the gospel would remind us that this love is never about sentimentality. This love is a tough love, a wounding love. One, one, someone said, when you go to heaven, before you will be given entry, the gatekeeper will always ask you to show him your nail marks. Show me your hands. Show me your nail marks. Show me your side. The wounds because of love. And woe to those, he said, who will go to heaven with a smooth and clean hands. Too protective. Inisip lang ang sarili. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you know, and I have said this many times, Peace be with you is not a greeting, but a prayer, a blessing. Shalom. Shalom. God will enter even to the locked doors of our hearts. The persistence of His grace. So that you will be blessed with peace. Why? Why it is important to be blessed with peace? Because this peace that God will give is not the kind of peace the world is giving. This peace is the kind of peace that restores the broken, heals those who are sick, put order on the many disorder in our lives. Peace that will empower those who are afraid to go out. 
peace that brings forth boldness in our hearts. As I have said many times, faith doesn't mean it will remove the fear, but faith will give you the power to overcome your fears. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, true enough that the Holy Father have said this, what we need today is the mercy of God. What we need today is the mercy of God. Why? Because in this mercy, in this mercy, by the mercy of God, it is the only way that our sins can be forgiven. It is through this mercy that all our wounds will be healed. It is through this mercy that we will be able to stand from our own brokenness and perhaps to stand from our own weaknesses. The divine mercy that we celebrate today is the mercy we can never merit. Mercy that is freely given, not because we are good, but because God is good. And many times have said this, that grace is enjoying the things we do not deserve. And mercy is being spared from the punishment we deserve. Mercy is being spared from the punishment we deserve. Who among us have not sinned? Who among us have not thought of his personal needs and protection? Who among us have not shielded ourselves from being sick, being overprotective? Who among us? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, by the mercy of God, we will be healed. By the mercy of God, Things will be put right what is wrong in our lives. Nakakatuwa. Minsan may nagdala ng picture ng isang medical frontliners. Sabi niya, stay at home. Gusto ko pang mag-asawa. Gusto ko pang mag-asawa. The primary reflection, nakakatawa. The secondary reflection, look at this. Look at this person. In spite of the personal desire to think of herself, continue to serve. Continue to give herself. And the tertiary reflection is to ask myself in my own gut level, how much of this need for comfort and protection prevent me from living the kind of life God wants me to live? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, this morning, I asked my friend doctor who is assigned in three COVID wards, how do you look like today? Are you in your full battle gear? Kasi nung minsan pinakita niya, balot na balot. Naintindihan mo. Hindi lang siya nag-iingat para sa kanyang sarili, kundi para sa kanyang mga mahal sa buhay, sa kanyang pamilya. Can you imagine, you are a doctor, and you self-quarantine yourself in your own homes. You don't eat with your own family. Nandun ka sa sarili mong kwarto. Hindi ka sa sariling kama. Nandun ka sa sarili mong folding bed. Hindi do sa sarili mong kutson. Out of love. How much of this love in you, my brothers and sisters, in us, is really a manifestation of our faith in God? As I've said this morning, 
a good friend, a good father, a good priest, who sometimes we invite to come and celebrate the Eucharist and preside the Eucharist in our church, who put all his life in the hospital being a hospital chaplain. Yesterday, he lost his mother. And he wanted to go home. Kung meron ng pangarap ang isang pari na sa panahon ng pagpanaw ng mahal mo sa buhay, kahit ako ang makapagnisa dahil yun na lang ang pwede mo maibigay. Pero kahapon, nagpa-PC artes and he was tested positive. Saan niya nakuha yun? By this hospital. While giving himself to the people who are in need of God. Again, my friends, my dear brothers and sisters, this faith was given to us in the church, through the church, but this faith has to be put into practice in the kind of love we share with one another. To think less of ourselves so that we can think more of others. To put order in our lives, to put right what is wrong, to shun away from our own selfishness and selfish desire, to be happy. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, minsan, hindi masamang maging masaya, basta walang ibang lumuluha. Hindi masamang maging masaya, basta hindi ka nagkakasala. Today, I say to you, be happy. Be happy because you were able to live the love, the kind of love that faith demands from you. Yes, truly enough that the only thing man need today is the mercy of God. That every longing or every soul, every soul should be longing is the mercy of God. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, let us pray together. Let us join our prayers together. And perhaps when we pray so much for ourselves, only for ourselves, it is an invitation of how much of our faith really being lived outside of ourselves. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us turn to the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, who plunged us into the infinite ocean of His mercy that is greater than our sin from evil, suffering, and death. In His loving mercy, we have victory, we have salvation, we have eternal life. And every petition, let our response be, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God, God of, of mercy, mercy listen. listen to our prayer. For the leaders of the church that believing in and experiencing the Lord's infinite mercy, that they may always proclaim it to God's people, we pray. God, God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. For our local and national leaders, that like the apostles, they may attend to the needs of our communities and work for peace, unity, and progress, we pray. God of mercy, listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. For those who, like Thomas, live in doubt and fear, that peace and forgiveness of the risen Christ may strengthen them to face life's challenges and difficulties, we pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we may be immersed in the ocean of divine mercy and live as ministers of the Lord's peace and reconciliation, we pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, may they experience the infinite mercy of God in the heavenly paradise, we pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God, our loving Father, in Jesus, you have shown us your boundless love and infinite mercy. Teach us to love you in return. Entrust our lives to your love and mercy and serve you and our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the oblation of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying has destroyed our death, by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. found of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread gave you thanks broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. 
forever and Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Again, I say to you, this peace is not a mere greeting, but a prayer that heals, that restores the broken, that gives power to the weak, and give courage to those who are afraid. I pray that those who are sick may receive this peace. May the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by this peace of God. Peace be with you.
Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Be stay with me, Lord, but it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Be stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength. 
that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth. And continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for Saint us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. As I have said before, those numbers infected of COVID are mere numbers. Later on, they have names already. And soon enough, those names are people you know and close to you. So much infection because 
the new variant is more infectious than before. As I have said, stay at home, stay safe, save lives. But what is more alarming is the number of death. Every day, every day, 200 or more died. If you cannot imagine those numbers, perhaps these can help you. Imagine a plane crossing every day with 200 passengers all dead. If you cannot imagine those numbers dying every day, perhaps you can imagine a plane crossing every day with 200 on board all dead. A friend of mine who is a doctor whose father is sick cannot even find a room in the hospital she is serving. Don't be complacent. Don't be complacent. As you pray for yourself, pray for those people making greater sacrifice. Today, brothers and sisters, I urge you not to look at someone's hands wounds, not to look at someone's sides wounds. Don't tell me, don't ask them, show me your nail marks. Today, I urge you to show me your hands. Show your hands. Show your own nail marks. Show your own sides wounded because of your love. As I have said, faith is not just an ascent of the mind, but a way of life ruled by love. We order ourselves for the good of the other. And Pope Francis is correct by saying, Mercy is the other name of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you and on your family the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessings all the days of your life. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated the Eucharist. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Ingat po palagi. God bless.